welcome to another video of warp vls video series in this video we will talk about the sequential mediation analysis using warp vls sem analysis in the previous videos we talked about the simple mediation uh, mechanism the moderation analysis in this video we will talk about the sequential mediation or you can say uh, mediation with more than uh, one mediators or you can say that uh, SEM analysis having more than one paths of mediation. So let's just jump to our uh, step number four. We have already performed videos in which we uh, understood from step number one, two, three to step number four. So let's just go and define our model. And here we have to define our variables first. We are taking the learning organization as our independent variable. So this will go like hello. Uh, another variable which will be knowledge creation. It is being measured with nine items. So KC, save. Another variable which will be our second mediator innovation with eight items and let's just put one more variable as our dependent variable and that can be firm performance which is being measured with eight variables as well so we have defined our variables let's just define the links so go to this direct link click and click another link click and click another link click and click and just for the sake of direct effect we will also connect these two variables so let's just put this uh, model right like this and here we have a sequential mediation model now what is sequential mediation is when uh, there are more than one mediators in sequence between the relationship of independent variable and dependent variable. So we have defined our model and now we'll go to our model options. We'll save this model and now we are ready to perform our step number five, which is uh, to perform SAM analysis. So let's just click it. It's going to give us these results. Uh, in the previous video, we talked about the simple mediation and the understanding of result was uh, not that complex. But in this uh, model, we have a number of paths and the understanding of result is a little complicated. So first, just look at these uh, paths. So starting from this path, the path is 0 0.29 uh, coefficient with p value less than 0. 0, 1, which is fine, which is significant. R square is here. Then we have this path 0.44 beta with p value less than 0 0.01. This is also fine. This is significant. Let's just talk about this one 0 0.52 and p value is less than 0 0.1, which is again fine. Now this path and the beta is 0 0.05. P value is 0 0.17, which means this path is not significant. But as we are interested in uh, knowing about the sequential mediation and different paths of mediation, we can jump to our results and we can just divide this like here and go to this view, view indirect and total effects. And for now, we'll go to our classic view and here are our results. Now, uh, we will be talking about results in terms of number of paths which are mentioned here. So starting with this uh, first result, which is uh, indirect effect for paths with two segments. So how can we see that we have uh, the indirect effect? These indirect effects are the effect of LO on innovation through KC. So how can we know about uh, the indirect effect of 
which path we are talking about. So let's just go to this side. It is saying LO, KC, and innovation. So these values, which is 0 0.174, are of this path. First independent variable, first mediator, and second mediator. So if this path ends here, these are the results of this path. Now, the other way of confirming it is by taking a product of beta from here and beta from here. So multiply this beta with this beta and you will get these results. So this shows that these are the results of this path. Now, what, what about this, this second with two segments? So this portion is not talking about uh, the sequential mediation. It is talking about mediations with only one mediator. But this is talking about KC through innovation to firm performance. So these values, this value which is 0 0.232 is talking about this path from KC innovation to FP. Because we have a little complex model here with two mediators. So first it is going to give us uh, these uh, results. If we are interested in knowing the mediation of uh, KC between LO and innovation, then we will be looking at th these results. That is 0 0.174. If we are interested to know about this path, which is KC, innovation and FP, then we will be looking at these results. Now, uh, if we just look at the uh, p-value, both of them are significant, so we are fine with it. If we can just look at the standard errors, they are also far less than the beta values. Then effect size. We have already talked about in one of the videos about the effect size. Uh, again, uh, we can repeat it that these are important values, but how do we interpret them? Uh, if we have a value which is uh, less than 0 0.02, that is not considerable, even if the paths are significant. But if the value is above or equal to 0 0.02 then we are going to say that it has small effect. If the values are uh, equal to or above 0 0.15 we are going to say they have a medium effect and if the values are equal to or above 0 0.35 we are going to say they have a large effect. So in this case we have small effects but they are considerable because the values are above 0 0.02. Now let's just move to a more complicated uh, result. Now here it is saying that indirect effect with paths of three segments. Now three segment means that now it is calculating the two mediators. So in order to calculate uh, these values, you can uh, multiply the beta size from here with this one and then this one. So eventually you will get these results. Now these results are actually talking about the effect of these two mediators as an indirect effect from LO to FP, which means this is something that is giving us the value of our sequential mediation. So let's just look at the P values, these are significant, fine. We can just look at the standard error is far less than the beta value and effect size. So this is just on the borderline because we have just talked about that if it is uh, less than 0 0.02, then it's not good. And effect size is actually the F squared coefficient. So this is having a small effect, but still it is considerable. You can also look at some of the uh, other things, for example, uh, the total effects, the effect size of the sum of the indirect effects, uh, and then some more effect sizes. So this is all about uh, the sequential mediation uh, using warp PLS. Thank you very much.